Two tablespoons of cinnamon And two or three egg whites A half a stick of butter Melted Stick it all in a bowl, baby Stir it with a wooden spoon Mix in a cup of flour You'll be in heaven soon Say everybody, have you seen my balls? They're big and salty and brown If you ever need a quick pick me up Just stick my balls in your mouth Mmm, suck all my chocolate salty balls Stick them in your mouth and suck them Mmm, suck on my chocolate salty balls They're packed full of vitamins and good for you So suck on my balls Hello beta testers South Park is old So am I So are you In its 25 seasons it has gone on For more than a third of your life and for some listening, for all of it. South Park is literally older than the hacks writing articles pre-offended about a cartoon after a promo shows how effortless it is to lampoon the creatively bankrupt mainstream media for taking pre-existing characters and suddenly making them diverse women. It's so creative. South Park didn't make it bizarre, it naturally was, and it's one of the only things that are natural about the activists trying and failing to redefine everything. If the reflection offends you, the mirror is not at fault. It ain't less sexist because you're excluding the men, and it ain't less racist because you're excluding the whites. The reason many of us are excited is because most of us don't believe any of us should be above criticism. We hope they make fun of us too, forced to raise our voices and bitch online to educate people on what brands to avoid because, you know, the message is so poisonous. It's enveloping you weirdos in this sulfuric fart that clearly is dissolving reason, sense, and has these people under the impression that they can sell ugly? This is the joke of the video. Pack it the fuck up. It's not getting funnier than that. People like me's heads should be down in video games right now, but even that wasn't safe from the shit-stained gender studies fuckwits who would probably instantly seppuku if they were ever to speak to a real producer or anybody willing to be real with them for 30 minutes. It is not my job to shield adults from reality, uh, bursting their delusional bubble. I barely make enough with my actual job, but like actual children, these babies are sucking the joy out of the world deliberately willfully but you see this right here you see this this put a smile on my face and it put a smile on other people's faces because finally y'all need to get yours like Chappelle Matt and Trey Parker offer the greatest gift and the very thing that the woke pronoun enthusiasts seek passionately to rob people of laughter humor comedy south park is older than your movement it's older than the internet the song chocolate salty balls i started the video with is performed by the late isaac hayes who played chef when he was alive and so passionate was Matt and Trey Parker's belief that no person or entity should be above being mocked that they refused to back down on Scientology. The cocks angry at South Park could be making exposés on Scientology right now, but they're not because they're scared. And that's actual effort that they probably couldn't even achieve with the help of AI. It's easy 
to roast this. Just like trans people attacking strangers streaming Hogwarts Legacy is easy, you know, they don't have to get dressed and stare in the mirror and fight off depression and then go to a theme park to get the dumb dumb treatment they deserve, they can just hide behind their jiggly titty anime VTuber persona while paradoxically claiming all anime is for beatos, or maybe not paradoxically gen considering what some of them are into, you know what I'm talking about? But newsflash, trying to woke everything up because maybe then people will like you for more more than just agreeing with whatever the cult tells you to do. <laughs> we can't even talk about you on this platform. The comedy's just exploding. It's naturally there and description is hate. Description is hate. Oh man, how about this comedy for this platform? Ad blockers violate YouTube's terms of service. All right, I'm sorry. Isaac Hayes is dead and his religious beliefs forced an end to a relationship that didn't just inspire laughter and joy within, but without. We benefit from their relationship, and the experience is invaluable. Intelligent people learn from the mistakes of others. Some mistakes offer the best lessons through personal experience, like farting before sitting on the toilet. This is a mistake to an average person, but if you're writing race and gender swapped garbage with Mary Sue characters and using a show as a platform to argue with fans, you probably enjoy the smell of your own farts. Other mistakes make it clear that you'll be too dead to learn anything from personally making it. Knowledge is just information until you apply it. Then it's wisdom. I've lost friends to woke. The same way I've lost female friends to ignorance. In the end, I realize there's nothing more offensive than stupidity. Whatever people call their intolerant cults these days doesn't really fucking matter. If we've learned to tolerate your stupid ass, then you should learn to tolerate us. And no uneducated toddler mad at a cartoon show more successful than they'll ever be is gonna tell us that bitch isn't a nice word because for people like you and Kyle's mom, it's the perfect word. So, sticks and stones may break bones, but some of y'all are hanging on by a thread and you're lucky we can't fucking talk to you the way y'all be running your damn mouth to us. Please, sir, like and subscribe. Like and subscribe so that I can qualify for human rights from YouTube. Just kidding. <laughs> we know that's not happening. Comment or correct me below, but I think blunt honesty isn't hatred and is in fact considerably less cruel than the silence you people claim is violence because the consultation that I would typically charge to offer is that attacking beauty, erasing what has worked, and extracting humor is a recipe for hostility. And just because your existence is so miserable, it doesn't mean that you get to claw other people down from the life that they were living filled with joy to your level of the barrel, bottom feeder. If recognizing his racist and description is hate, then congratulations, man. <laughs> You've invalidated yourself, but not just yourself, your cause, your group, and your memory will linger only as a punchline. So great job, woke culture. You made it like eight seasons, seven and a half, but people were done with you after the first. At this point, how could I fault you for believing that the forced uglification of mainstream media is like a government psychological operation, you know, just to rile people up, but to what fucking end? Beta testers, every breath we take is ableist versus the dead. Every noise we make is disrespectful to the deaf. And everything we see is apparently privilege over the blind. So I'm going to shake your hand for closing your mouth like the stupidity was airborne and slowly backing the hell out to let the, the, the stupid have the room. You know what I mean? But they're all out of money. They're all tuckered out now. <laughs> we need to go put them down for a nap called night night, right? Let the people with the scent step the fuck back in. Thank you for liking, voting, and reinforcing the health of this nation. I hate to, you know, it sounds stupid out loud, man, but come on, man. To those of you liking, thank you so much for pushing these videos further than they'd ever get. And to the patrons, a special thanks here. 
keeping me afloat. Some of the people apologizing to me, I think, are starting to understand that hate never motivated me. Love does. Beauty, humor, and joy deprivation will lead to... <sighs> you already see what's going on, man. I've watched the soul-sucking, brainwashed, pronoun youth parrot their piss-soaked talking points uh, about gender genocide to literal war survivors and speaking directly to them has no effect because they're hypocrisy incarnate. Everything is an attack and every day their list of offensive things grows. For the safety, well-being, and mental health of anyone listening, I suggest you disengage from people who seek noise in the midst of music. You're not a therapist working for free. It's not your responsibility to reinforce the genjutsu of people who clearly were not built to survive. You know what I mean? And if they're gonna snap, you weren't bringing them candy every day, so just make sure you're not to remove yourself from the situation, you know? They think everything's an attack. I'm asking you to defend yourself. Because there's nothing more dangerous than people who can't take a joke. Please, like, vote for, and fund what you love.